Hi guys and welcome to another festive edition of the Fantasy Chancer. Hopefully everyone has had a good Christmas out there. Uh, it was great to have the proper soccer, as I call it, back last week. St. Stephen's Day didn't disappoint. Um, not a lot of home wins, which was the only real surprising thing on St. Stephen's weekend. So last week I done pretty, pretty well for a change. 85 points I got last week, so very, very happy with that. So just going to go through my team from last week and we'll see Renato Sanchez. He didn't keep the clean sheet, but he saved the penalty and that was the nine points in there. Sven Botman, who had been bigging up on this one at 4.4 million, another clean sheet for Newcastle. Now, unfortunately, that was the end of my clean sheets as Colin Sleeva and Nico Williams failed to do so, but uh, there was not a lot of clean sheets in the league last weekend anyway. Into the midfield then, we had Mo Salah. Seems to be back in form again, 12 points. Mikel Almiron absolutely still on fire since Jack Grealish absolutely, uh, I guess, taunted him or maybe pushed him on a bit further and he's been brilliant. Bukayo Saka straight back in after the World Cup, uh, nine points, another goal for him. Andres Pereira didn't deliver in Fulham's win over Crystal Palace but picked up one point based on the clean sheet. Harry Kane, of course, scored again in Tottenham, coming from behind to draw 2-2 with Brentford. And, of course, Erling Haaland as captain, 26 points, two goals. You know, is there is there any stopping that man? And you can just see on the bench there that uh, I did actually bring Callum Wilson in last week, which was uh, a mistake. I thought he was fit, according to this. He's suffering from illness at the moment, so I've had to redo things. So we're going to go into my team now for this week, and this is what I have went for. Okay. So in goals, Dean Henderson returns after his... He was ineligible to play last week against uh, his parent club, Manchester United. So Dean Henderson returns in goal for me. A back three of Nathan Collins. He's obviously... Wolves haven't been great this season. They started off really, really well. Collins was playing well. And then he got suspended. He hasn't really been in the same vein of form since he came back from suspension. So if we look at his price tag here, it's still very cheap at 4.4 for a defender. But um, not picking up the points that are required for Wolves at the moment. In beside him then, William Saliba. Look, Arsenal have got a really, really stern test this week against a Brighton side that are flying without Graham Potter, which is what not a lot of people saw coming, to be fair. And then we have Botman in there again, 4.4, as I mentioned earlier, Leeds at home. Leeds were very, very tootless going forward the other day against Manchester City. So you would fancy Newcastle to pick up a win and a clean sheet this week, in my opinion. Into the middle of the park then, Mo Salah, self-explanatory. Leicester at home, Leicester City playing very, very poorly since they came back. The international break just came at the wrong time from them. And Almiron in beside him. Just tearing it up, as I said earlier, so there's no point in changing that. But Kaya Saka, Brighton. I think Brighton are going to be a very stern test for Arsenal this week, so I keep Saka in my team regardless. And then Pereira, Fulham at home to a very underwhelming Southampton side that just have only kept one clean sheet. I wasn't sure last week when I was doing the show because I was a little bit tipsy from a lot of Jemison, but since I've done my research, Southampton have only kept one clean sheet this season. you got to feel for young... Gavin Bazunu in goals, but to be fair, it hasn't really been his fault. It's what's in front of him. Front three then, Harry Kane, self-explanatory, Aston Villa, going to be tough, going to be tougher for um, for Spurs to break down this Villa team, especially in the way that Tottenham are starting games, and I think Una Emery is a good tactician, very good manager, certainly underrated, and I expect Aston Villa to be very, very organised against a fragile Tottenham team, particularly fragile in the first half of games, which is very strange, but that's just the way they're playing at the moment. In beside him then, obviously, Callum Wilson had to come out for illness, so what better guy to get in than Mitrovic? Mitrovic at a, at a, a great price as well. Look at that, £7 million. Absolute steal there at the moment. And then I've got to go with Erling Haaland, captain again. Everton at home, Frank Lampard under immense pressure. I was very tempted to put Haaland as my triple captain this week. That's how tempted I was because I think it's going to be an absolute annihilation of Everton. Everton, no confidence. And it's hard to see where the next win is going to come from for them. Then the bench then, Sanchez, Arsenal at home. Zuma's going to miss this one. Nico Williams has been kind of in and out of the team anyway. 
Um, Chelsea at home for Forest. You just never know. That could be a game that they might pick up a few points and they need them because for me, they're going down and um, they need to do what they can at home to try and stay up. And then I have Somerville there. It didn't really feature featured near the end, I think, of the Man City Leeds game the other day, but he was a player in good form going into the break as well. So hopefully we'll see him back to form at some point. So I am going to go into the league now. I went up a couple of places last week. So if we go into the league here, we'll see that Graham Ward still top there on 1,044, followed by Mark Hogan, not too far behind. Both men had very good weeks last week, 97 and 92 respectively. So things are beginning to tighten up here now as well. So I think I went from 22 to 21. Okay, so I only went up one spot, but still it's tightening up there. So 85 points, I was delighted with that. Um, and let's just see if we, st yes, we still have the 42 players. So that's not too bad. So that is my team for this week. Um, hopefully it's going to be a thoroughly enjoyable week again in the fantasy football, in the Premier League in general. And I just want to say Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year to Niall, Darren and crew. Keep up the great work. You're doing fucking stellar job. Uh, we'll catch you guys in a couple of days time because there's another game week upon us. Thanks very much, guys. Please subscribe to this channel.